Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation channel. This is the second episode of the modelling tutorial series of a P1800 Volvo. Um, in this episode, just want to talk um, before we get cracking into uh, importing it into Blender is to how to source the um, various reference images and blueprints stroke image planes that you need to create this model. So we'll get straight into that. Right so this is a, a good way, I mean I use Bing, I don't um, use Google very much, um, I find Bing better to be honest but whatever your preference is go into your search engine and just type in Volvo P1800 blueprints and there'll be, because this is fair, a fairly popular car, there'll be a, a, a reasonable range. Um, I've chosen this one. Um, I've chosen this, sorry, this one. Um, because essentially we're looking for a, um, a front, we're looking for a side image, a top image, a front and a back. Okay, this, this has got the back missing albeit you can use this and, and the back image from one of these if you wish. Um, I'll be looking at that and seeing which is the best to use on this one. You could use that, um, but again, there's not all all the views. Anyway, so whichever you, you choose, go, go for that. Um, another way is to a good site if you want vector images which are the SVGs the better quality but you might have to pay $20 or whatever for that um, a place called um, theblueprint.com um, there's another one called Get Outlines um, and there's various other blueprint places anyway once you've got that um, if you haven't downloaded it what I use is is this which is um, uh, GIMP so if you low if you download GIMP G I A M P um, download that and this is this is what I do so if you go up to the top rectangle here the rectangle select tool highlight like I have the the, the side image there um, you go into image and then you go to crop to selection okay so crop to selection and then from there you export it not save it so you export you export the image um, so export as um, and then type in type in uh, side and I, I tend to use capital letters just to so I can find it easier side dot png okay so dot png jpg will work but I find png is is, is a better quality uh, image so export and then you and then you have to export it again for some strange reason which I don't know so export so that's exported. Um, then go back to this um, and choose your next one. So the next one will be the um, the top. So just range select it. Get it as close to size as possible. You don't want too much of the image showing. Um, go to image. Crop to selection. And then save that as save that as um, not save export export as uh, top so just uh, top in png export p 
press export again um, and do crop image then we go to the front so once again we're there select the front image crop to selection export as then type front f o r t dot png and export export again go to edit and do crop select the rear and that's the the last image that we want So go to image, so crop to selection, export as, and, and type in back or rear, so back. Okay, and just before I, um, I, I close, on this episode, um, I just want to show you how I set it up in 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 my um, in my folders. Let's just drag it across on the other screen. Okay, so I've got my blend of projects here, and I've got. Um, ones I'm working on, ones to start. So if you have a look in here, these are the ones I'm, I'm actually working on. Um, and I put ones to start in there, which I haven't got anything in there because I've just put them all in that I'm going to use. I've got one for future projects, which I suppose you could say to start. i just put some images in there. Um, and I've got the it range to various ones and I don't necessarily delete everything I put them in there anything I render I put in there okay but the ones I'm working on I'll go into one I'm using at the moment um, go into the Ferrari one I've got um, one for blend files and when I follow tutorials I tend to watch the, the YouTube video and then stop at a point, do what I have to do, make sure it's correct, then start the video again. And then every time I do that, I save, and I've made sure I've got a, a reasonable naming convention. So, so this is what I do. So if I was watching somebody put the blueprints in, it'd be blueprints A1 chapter or section or whatever, and that's how I do it. So I end up with lots of blend files, but, um, they are saved versions of the car so you can go back to a point so that's a, a tip if you want to take it up fine if you don't that, that's also fine um, I then put because I'm into Instagram so I put I save images of my renders or whatever to put into Instagram um, I've then got reference images so I put all the reference images in now I haven't been as tidy as I want to be. Um, if you look at one of the other ones I'm working on, um, Jarrett Jupiter, I think, for instance, not that one. Um, there's one that, um, probably this one. No. Um, but if you go into your, um, if you go into your reference images. Um, I normally like to create folders and call them isometric views, engine, chassis, interior and all that. I mean I, I must re go into this and redo it but that's what I generally like to do. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, 
I will be doing one very soon, hopefully another one today. Um, if not, I'll, I'll certainly definitely do one in the morning and we'll be taking the blueprints into Blender um, and making sure that the sizes and dimensions are correct. Um, so each image plane is is um, matching up the scale etc uh, for each view. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, see you soon. Bye.